Hello and welcome to the 8th Tribal Council for Surviving in 1984. I am here with the freshly formed Merge Tribe. Say hello, guys. I love just all the waves at once. <laughs> so, Sunshine, would you like to describe what the immunity challenge was for us, please? All right, so we had to be on camera with these two pencils in our mouths, and I had them backwards, so I think I might have lead poisoning <laughs> now. Um, I fell asleep for like 10 minutes until you guys said, hey, Sunshine, like, uh, put your head straight. That was like my whole strategy. Wrong challenge, wrong challenge. Wait, what was the challenge then? Oh, the, the puzzle. orange puzzle. The puzzle, yeah, the puzzle, I'm sorry. Um, so we had this puzzle challenge. Um, <laughs> I didn't partake in that one because I suck at puzzles. Um, I was still, <laughs> I was still thinking that the last challenge was the other challenge with the walrus teeth. <laughs> Sunshine might be a little high right now. No, I'm right, not so... high. I more than like four hours. So with that immunity challenge, we saw Josh win the first individual immunity. Josh, do you feel like that was do or die for you? Or do you think that um, you just wanted it because that's one of your good, strong suits? Uh, no, I knew how to do it. And like, uh, I, I don't know if it was do or die, but it was definitely good to win the first one, especially with 13 people here in Emerge. So I'm really happy. Awesome. Uh, Justin, so we went from many small tribes from the first half of the season to one big tribe of 13. How was the general vibe once you guys all merged together? It felt like we were just all like a big old family. Like it just, it felt right. Like it didn't feel like there was anyone out of place. It just felt like we all deserved to be there because we all worked our ass off to get where we are. It just, it just, it was very welcoming and just like everyone had a good time, I feel like. So Megan, this first merge vote usually sets the tone for the second half of the season. Um, is that gonna be the case for tonight's vote or do you see something smaller happening? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um... I think most of us have only heard two names, um, so I really don't think it's going to be that crazy. Um, I think it's just a matter of who has more votes on them. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm telling you one of those names was mine, so like I would love if something crazy were to happen, but I don't foresee it happening. So, but we'll see. Does anybody want to elaborate who the second name is, just out of curiosity? It's me, everybody. <laughs> so, Julian, you raised your hand saying that you were the second name. Does that make you feel super in danger? And what do you do moving forward to ensure that it's not you? Well, in all honesty, I was asleep till like five hours ago, maybe. Um, and in that time, I feel like a lot happened without me really knowing. I woke up and people were like, hey, just so you know, you've been throwing Megan's name around. Oh, shit. No, I haven't. I've been asleep. Hey, that's okay. I mean... At the end of the day, it is what it is. I feel like this is kind of the storyline that's been building up to this point as far as events that have taken place in this game goes. So I won't even be mad if it's me. All respect to Megan, love her as a person. But I do think that everyone knows uh, this tribe is only going one of two ways. And if it's me, I've come to terms with that. And um, I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> Good luck. So, Nick, there are so many different configurations to how people could work together. What do you think <coughs> you have to do, or do you have to navigate that whole possibility of different people working together? You have to navigate that every single round moving forward. Well, I think the hardest part about this merge is that there have been so many people that have worked with so many different people. Like, We've swapped twice now, and that there are people that I've never been on a tribe with in this game. There are people that I've only been on a tribe with in this game. Like, I, I have somebody that, like, I've been on a tribe with the entire time with, and I have somebody who I've never been on a tribe with, and I feel like other people feel the same way. We're like, and there's also, like, there are certain people that, <laughs> there are certain people that, um, 
have never been to tribal. And there are certain people that have been to almost every single tribal. And so like, there's things like that you have to take into consideration. So it can, it can get a little messy. It can get a little weird. And I just really want to know how this vote plays out. <laughs> so Maddie, Nick mentioned that they've never been on a tribe with certain people. They've only been on a tribe with certain people. Do you see this vote taking a path that is OG Malt versus OG Amor versus OG Pal versus OG Verita? Or do you think it's going to be specific people working together? Like, what do you think with relationships is going to happen? <laughs> I don't even know. Like, with, like, the whole, like, what Nick said, I haven't even been on, like, with, like most of these people so I don't even know where their heads are and like I would love to work with them believe me I do but like at the same time I know I'm associated with like the big threat in this game too at the same time so I understand where they're coming from but um that's just my take on that Alrighty. so Miss Grays with the merge being now and the possibility of jury happening any round now, does that change your gameplay moving forward? Or are you just going to play the same way you've played this entire time? I say that it does change my game moving forward a little bit in the way that um, don't be too harsh. Like, just um, play. And the thing is, another thing is, like, all these people keep associating people with different people. But it, I think the the formula to the formula to um, have it to having like a good having a good jerk like having the jury love you at the end is by playing your own game. Don't listen to these other people. Okay, do not play your own damn game. And also be as silly as a peach. Awesome. So Drew, with the possibility of idols being out there. Does that change your plan moving forward into a vote? Um, well, I can't speak for other people, um, but I am one of those balls to the wall type people. If an owl gets played, it gets played well done to them. Um, I try not to harp on idols too, too much um, because that could just kick paranoia even more. Um, but it, an idol can be played two idols can be played, zero idols can be played. At this point, I don't care. I just know what I feel is best for my game. If that person happens to leave, they happen to leave. If not, I mean, it's whatever. I'll figure out from there. Alrighty. Is AJ still here with us? I think I, yes. Um, AJ, so what do you think, this season has been, like a theme of pre-existing or pre-game relationships. Do you think that will affect tonight's vote? Or do you think everybody's kind of reshuffling the deck and basing their decisions on the game itself? Um, good question, because that's what I'm battling with. I don't know if these pre-existing relationships are actually... Can you guys hear me? Because Michael's laughing for some reason. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, yeah, that's something I, I'm like, are pre-existing relationships actually going to hold stronger than relationships that have been created in this game? Because that's what I'm fighting in my head. Because that's what I'm going to vote my, my vote is based off tonight. Is Lee here with us? I think he might be at work, but don't know if he's able to answer a question. All right, Lee, I'm still going to ask you a question, um, and you can just type out your answer. Um, do you think trust is a key factor in this game and basing that off of the votes, or do you think it's more of a round-to-round -round game? I'm just going to wait for Lee to type out his answer. All right, Lee says, oh, yes, it's all about who you can trust. Awesome. So Lauren, with such a big tribe of 13, do you feel like this is more so a realm that you can kind of sit back and relax? Or do you think that the paranoia escalates with the endless amount of possibilities that could happen? 
Um, you can never sit back and relax because once you do, you're gone. So no, it makes it even more stressful because they can, there's like, you don't need like seven people to have like majority. You can break into little groups. Awesome. And does anybody else have anything to say? Or does anybody else feel, or anybody feel like they could be going home tonight? A lot of people. All right, does anybody else have anything to say before we get to the votes? All righty, if everybody can go to their production chat and confirm their vote for me, I will write them down and I will be back. You guys can give your shout outs or talk amongst yourselves. Shout out to Edie. You're just looking like what? <laughs> Uh, shout out to, shout out to everybody who's watching. Uh, shout out to hashtag manpower. Shout out to Evan, Sean, Emily, and Coolness two three four, aka Josh, because you um are amazing, and I beat you in a frookies, and I feel bad about it. Shout out to the upcoming cast of Trinity Survivor Past and Present. I really came on right now, didn't I? Shout out to the last okay. person in this game who voted me out in a merge swap. Oh, or a merge. <laughs> Merge vote. Oop, I. Oop. Screaming. <laughs> Shout out to my mom for being in my tribe's lip sync. She killed it. Yes, she did. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm out of tribal, shout out to judge number two. Fuck you, bitch. Mm. Shout, out to, shout out to my mom who has screamed at me at least three times in the middle of this tribal. <laughs> shout out to all the judges that called me a star. <laughs> shout out to all the puke that's coming up my throat right now as we speak. <laughs> Justin, I can't help it that I'm popular. <laughs> sure, Jan. He really did say, I'm the Marsha. <laughs> just Jan, just Jan, just Jan. Yeah, Jan Spark. Jan, 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 Jan. <laughs> no, just Jan, just Jan, just Jan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heidi and Tiki. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, to add to how straight I am. <laughs> That's a Aww. sentence I didn't add here. Oh, while we wait, you can play Shavik some more. How big is that ball? Huh? That ball. Is and copyright strike. <laughs> it has money in it. Watch out, Michael. You're about to get copyright struck off YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, can you guys actually stop playing the music so we can actually have this tribal for the viewers Ooh. to watch? <laughs> Nick, yeah, fuck your yeah. tribal. <laughs> this qualifying. Honestly, I just want to get this vote over with. Like, hold up, ready? hold up. Nick really, really did say fuck Connie. I'm ready to log off Skype for like a day after this and just play on my PS4. If you're stressed and have a headache, clap your hands. If you're stressed and have a headache, clap your hands. I, I, I have an idea. Heard a lot. I, I'm gonna, I'm putting up some copyright free chill lo fi hip hop music. beats. Oh, Ow, I love going from the surviving 1984 <laughs> island straight into the elevator. This is Dancing with the Stars now, bitch. <laughs> dancing in the elevator, more like. <laughs> oh, I got some more jazzy inspired music for you. Ooh. Still elevator music, but. <laughs> mm. It could also pass for being put on hold music. It could, it could. What about this one? Let's see what this one is. Oh, AJ, your cat! Is that a cat? We love Megan. I just want to pet it. We love cats. 
I mean, I don't. Good luck, everybody. Amy, that's sitting here during this tribal council with me. Good luck, Julian. My oh, man, good it's the rivalry they all wanted. Good luck, Megan. Mm -hmm. Good luck, you both. Kitty. Oh, <laughs> Sunshine, I just noticed you changed your name to not Chromebook. <laughs> AJ, that's the only cat you're gonna get. Oh! <laughs> Who is that? I was so that was so bad. <laughs> Me at the runaway, too. <laughs> Hey, hold on. We got a twin on the cats. Hi, baby. Not battle of the cats. <laughs> we love to see it. We got a tiny. Did you guys hear my like elbow pump? All right, if everybody yeah. can go back on mute for me, please. I'm gonna use the bathroom quickly. Shit. This is the part where I would start right. playing Jeopardy music. I am going to read the votes. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Uh, can I just say something real quick? Sure. So, from what I've been hearing over the last couple hours, the narrative of Travel Council and this game in general is being written in a way that ends in a pretty dark chapter for myself. Tonight we're gonna see if we can rewrite the story and push this into a bit better of a direction. I found this yesterday night and it only lasts for three Tribal Councils, so why not try something crazy tonight? Like, I'm playing this idol for myself. Alrighty, the rules of Survivor state that if a hidden immunity idol is played, all votes cast for that person will not count. This is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Julian will not count. Does anybody else have anything they would like to play? Alrighty, I'll get to the vote. First vote, Julian does not count. Julian does not count. Julian does not count. Lauren. AJ, that's one vote Lauren, one vote AJ. Lauren, that's two votes Lauren, one vote AJ. AJ. It's two votes Lauren, two votes AJ. Lauren. That's three votes Lauren, two votes AJ. AJ. It's three votes Lauren, three votes AJ, three votes canceled out, so there are four votes remaining. AJ. Four votes AJ, three votes Lauren. AJ, it's five votes AJ, four votes Lauren, or three votes Lauren, two votes left. Eighth person voted out and the first member of our jury, AJ. AJ, do you have any final words? No, it's all good though. Megan's still a queen. <laughs> All right, AJ, the tribe has spoken. We loved having you. You are still on the jury, so you will have a say in who wins this game. I love being King of Ponderosa. I will be there. <laughs> AJ, thank you so much for playing. Nice meeting you. And that, my friends, is how you flush an idol. <laughs> I did that. We I love it. it. Thank you for playing your idol. Everybody Julie. can go back on mute for me. There will be an announcement. Well, after the first tribal council of the merge, you guys might be feeling a little bit more safe and sound. However, 
We're about to throw a wrench in some plans. Next round, we are obviously down to 12. So we will be splitting back into two tribes of six. One I person called that shit in the tribe chat. One person from each tribe will win immunity, and both tribes will be going to tribal council. So we have pre randomized the tribes already, and I will let you know them. Like, I kind of hate you. <laughs> I'm going oh bald. My God. Bald. Bald. All right. Bald. So we will be splitting you guys into the red tribe and the blue tribe. The red tribe will consist of Megan, Lee, Nick W, Grace, Josh, and Drew. The blue tribe will consist of Julian, Sunshine, Jason, Justin, Maddie, and Lauren. So those will be your tribes for next round. Are there any questions how next round will work? Alrighty, with that being said, you guys will be added to your tribe chats very shortly. Um, since you guys are technically on two different tribes, we would like you guys not to speak in the actual merge chat for this next round um, and stick to communication just on your tribe. So with that being said, good luck everybody and immunity will be posted soon. Wait, Blake, I have a question.